Well, tonight, hundreds of kids nationwide feel a part of something special thanks to Team Impact. The Boston-based group pairs children who have life-threatening or chronic illness with college sports teams. Now, it has been a home run from the beginning when a group of friends began leveraging their networks to find kids and teams. It's also been a way to honor a loved one, build community, and give back. In tonight's Changemakers, meet Team Impact co-founder Jay Kalman. All right, buddy, it's official. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks to Team Impact, nine-year-old Parker Watson is now on the Harvard hockey team. Oh, it's thrilling. Like, it's really cool. It's so nice going to all the practices and all the home games. It's just so nice. Here, years of leukemia treatment are a distant memory, and the players Parker admires, like Captain Henry Thrun, are also in awe of him. Knowing that all he's been through is something that he, he truly is an inspiration for both me and I, I think all of my teammates. Co-founder Jay Kelnan points to that perspective as perhaps the most important benefit for the athletes. It's about being a good citizen. It's about being grateful for what you have. Lives will be changed forever through a little kid, um, you know, battling some illness. A dozen years and more than 2,600 matches after Team Impact's inception, it's now on 743 college campuses in all 50 states. Inspired in part by a fan who never got to play. He loved sports. Like Jay's younger brother, Chris, was born with a fully formed skull while his brain was still growing. He had to undergo a surgery where they removed his skull, yep, and they put in a plastic plate. Sports with any potential contact was off limits. While Jay and his sister Dawn played in Bristol, Connecticut, Chris could only watch from the stands until a double-A baseball team staffer made him an offer. He said, hey, our bat boy you know, is going off to college and we're looking for a bat boy. You're here, you're here every night. You know, why don't you be the bat boy? And, you know, the following week he's in his little uniform as the bat boy for the Bristol Red Sox. Chris went from fan to teammate. That was everything he could ever want out of being part of uh, a sports team. He was part of a community. He was, yeah. But not long enough. Chris died in a car accident at 21, leaving Jay with grief and profound questions about life. That prompted me to really dig into what is it? What can we do? And as he built his Quincy construction business, he found the answer. Through the skills I had learned, you know, growing up and playing sports, I felt like I was able to build a network, create relationships. And leverage those relationships to build a program. With a spark of an idea, he immediately and persistently called his friend, Team Impact co-founder Dan Kraft. And I said, Jay, what, what was, why the persistence? And he said, you know, I didn't want you to come to me 10 years from now and say, hey, you blew me off. Why didn't you tell me about this thing? And thankfully, I returned his call. and. The rest is history. Personal history for young people, their families, and athletes developing empathy, including Jay's son, Jake. You could never have known that your son's brush with Team Impact would come at one of his lowest points. Yeah, no, I had no idea. Jake was a Johns Hopkins University lacrosse player when he tore his Achilles, season over. His junior year, um, we drafted uh, Kyle Skakel onto the men's lacrosse team at Johns Hopkins. Eight-year-old boy with cerebral palsy, and him and my son Jake became best of friends. Their goal now, for every college team in America to have a team impact recruit. You see no limit to the expansion. No limit. A win for everyone involved. It's just um, an amazing feeling. I'm so happy to be involved in, in this team. Um, it's just been great for him. At the end of the day, you want to feel like a sense of accomplishment. And you want to feel a sense of belonging. Mm. And that's what everybody involved feels. Jay is really clear. Team Impact was and is a team effort. And what they want now is to build relationships with hospitals in other cities, like the relationships that they have in Boston, so that they can identify more kids who can be part of this program. And speaking of kids, Parker, the boy nice. in the story, in remission, getting regular scans, doing really well. And Love learning that. to skate. And, and could you see in the picture how happy he was, but also how happy the college kids were? They are beaming. Yeah. I mean, he is a part of that team. Well, hopefully every team gets linked up with a kid. We hope so.